So good evening and welcome to our prayer time for those who are sick. We come before you, Lord, this evening in this time of prayer, lifting up to you all who are sick. We bring ourselves, we offer this time for them. We remember them and pray that they would know your presence with them through this part of their pilgrim journey. As we start this time, we reflect on the gospel for this 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time from Mark chapter 7. Returning from the district of Tyre, Jesus went by way of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee, right through the Decapolis region. And they brought him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech. They asked him to lay his hand on him. He took him aside in private, away from the crowd, put his fingers into the man's ears and touched his tongue with spittle. Then looking up to heaven, he sighed, and he said to him, Ephatheth, that is, be opened. And his ears were opened, and the ligament of his tongue was loosened, and he spoke clearly. And Jesus ordered them to tell no one about it, but the more he insisted, the more widely they published it. Their admiration was unbounded. He has done all things well, they said. He makes the deaf hear and the dumb speak. We know, Lord, that it is your intention to do all things well because you are the perfection of all that is good. We know that you journey with us through your sacramental help and your presence with us in the journey of life. We know that even in moments like when we find out we're sick, we have a journey into the unknown, uncharted, that you are the same, you remain the same. You still do all things well by us because you are with us as you promised to be to the end of time. We know that your healing comes in many different ways. And sometimes it is the accepting of the journey while still knowing that you are with us. That is indeed your gift of healing. As we suffer, you suffer with us. Your presence is with us through all things. We know also, Lord, that there will be times in our life when we will have to put aside what was the norm and care for others when their time of sickness arrives. Will we bring your healing presence to them through our actions and our care for them? So we pray now, Lord, as we lift up to you and we bring before you all the prayer intentions that we've received on the channel here, all the prayer intentions of those who are joining in. 
prayer intentions for those who are sick today. We lift them up to you, Lord, and we lift up all who care and support their care in this time now that we spend in your healing presence. Take a moment now to bring all of those before you. Lord, as we come before you this evening, lift up to you all who have been diagnosed with cancer, those who are going through treatment for cancer at this time, those who are awaiting the results, they'll be waiting to find out what the pathway of treatment is. We think about all of their families dealing with that journey with them. Many people who are involved in supporting them and caring for them, providing their treatments in either day centres or uh, in hospital as patients staying in those who may be involved in their transportation, home support. We lift them all up to you now, Lord, this evening. May they know your healing presence with them. Lord, we lift up to you those who are in need of transplants at this time. We know that every transplant requires a donor. For those who are able and willing to give of themselves, the like of kidney transplants, we thank you, Lord, for their courage. We also know, Lord, that many of our transplants come from those who have met an end of their own life. We thank the Lord. We thank you, Lord, for them. We thank you, Lord, for their family's courage. But even in their death, they give life the chance of extended life to others. We pray for all involved in the work that goes on when an organ becomes available for transplant. The 
team in the hospital team we carry those organs gently and swiftly to the place where they're required the teams that work with those receiving transplant organs those involved in their aftercare supporting them as they go forward in a new lease of life we lift them all up to you now lord in a moment of quiet prayer Lord, we bring to you this evening all suffering from respiratory conditions. In these times, of course, when we think respiratory, we think on the, the virus that we're dealing with. For all of those who are anxious, maybe they don't have the virus, but think perhaps it's there. Anxious about that. And for those who do, anxious about what they know or what they have seen and media reports and all, will be causing them anxiety on the journey. We pray, Lord, that they would put their trust in you and the wonderful gift that you have given them and the staff in our respiratory wards and our ICUs who work with them giving them the best that they can give them in various treatments and ways to overcome their respiratory conditions. We pray for all of those staff who have so selflessly gave of themselves since March last year. The hours and PPE equipment. The hours of relentless care that they've had to and been forced to give through this particular time. We lift them all up to you now, Lord, in a quiet moment of prayer.
Lord, we raise up to you this evening those who have been affected by strokes, life-changing moments of different sorts, requiring care and rehabilitation. As they once again know the great gift of those you have given to them to help them to learn new ways of dealing with life post what has happened to them. I ask your blessing on those who work with them, using their knowledge and skill to assist them and give them new ways in dealing with life ahead. We pray for their families and all who support them and the changes needed at home. In this moment of quiet, we raise them all up to you, Lord. Lord, we raise up to you now in prayer those newborn lives who are getting it difficult at this time, maybe having arrived prematurely or with some difficulties that can be overcome, requiring a stay and Pediatric ICU units and the children's wards of our hospitals. We pray for their parents and their families. At this anxious time for them, that they would trust in your goodness and know the strength of life that you have given these little ones, and the full potential of the being that they are, with the care of those trained to look after them, can come together and overcome so much. We pray indeed for that beautiful skill of those who work with our newborn children and our children in general, reassuring them reassuring their families and giving of their best so that these little ones may grow to be their best in your time, Lord. We raise them up to you this evening in this quiet moment of prayer.
And we pray for our elderly. Pray for their families who love them and care for them. Maybe where they can no longer care for themselves, families can return that care that they received when they were young and needed it from them. For those who are in care homes, nursing homes or hospitals. For all who care for them, that they would show them that with great dignity and respect, that they are special to us. We lift them up to you, Lord. As we come to the end of this time of prayer, Lord, we know you are with us. We pray your blessing upon us all now, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.